So I, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I have a bit of an organisational problem in my room. You may have seen that my desk is always full of shit. This desk is always full of shit. Not that you can see anything in the darkness. And then, because this desk, which is not really a desk, it's just a chest of drawers, is always so full of, covered in shit, um, shit always just falls down. And so underneath here is also just a fucking disaster zone full of fallen comrades and left, left to rot objects. And um, I've been trying to find a way, you know, I basically normally thought, it's not a big deal, right? But I'm starting to find that it kind of is a big deal sometimes when I need to find something, right? Because normally, the reason I have everything on the desk, right, is this is stuff that I use rarely, and this is stuff that I use often. It's pretty It's pretty easy, right? Like, uh, that way, stuff that I use often is always pretty close to me. The problem is that um, there's too much stuff that I use often, and it falls off the back. And so welcome to No Thank You Realizes, he can just, <laughs> wait, let me, let, me, uh, let me up the thing so you can actually see what's going on here. Welcome to No Thank You Realizes, he can just straight Velcro shit to his wall. And uh, but there you go, now I can just keep things on my wall. That little thing, this extension, normally like hangs down there in an impossible to reach place. Hey, now it's just on my wall, easy to get to, Velcroed on. I'm just going to start Velcroing shit. So let's see, what else do I need to Velcro here? This external hard drive, this would be a good thing to Velcro. You know, I already have my backup, my ThinkPad, Velcro to the back of my ThinkPad. Um, so this is like, if this is a, has also mostly anime, visual novel stuff like that on it. Be nice to like Velcro that, you know, maybe that way. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, yeah, so let's let's do that. Let's velcro some shit, man. This this would be good to velcro, you know. I used to have it hanging on my lamp, but this new lamp, it's not really hangable, so I've been hanging it on this, uh, which I guess is okay unless I need to actually use this monitor, in which case it's not really okay. So maybe I should velcro this, like, like here. That's a good place to velcro it. Right, but first I need to use it. <laughs> Um, to, to hold this camera. I'm going to flip it around. Hold on a second. Let me turn the screen brightness up a little bit so I can see Wagwan. Uh, there we go. That's good. Cut, cut my fringe just now and my moustache because it's getting in my mouth. I think it looks okay. I don't know if anyone's noticed that I have a... I have the lane thing going on. I don't think anyone's noticed that I've had the lane thing going on for a while now. But I just keep it, but now, nowadays it's too, it's long enough. The problem is my hair's curly and not Japanese, right? I'm not a, a young Japanese schoolgirl. So it curls up and like flicks me in the eye, which is annoying. So I just keep it behind my ear, which kind of defeats the point. But whatever, it's fine. I can get it out when it's needed. Um, so let's Velcro this. Now here's the thing about, this is real heavy duty actual Velcro. Velcro branded Velcro. Um... Developed by NASA for you. Uh, and uh, the thing people maybe don't realize about Velcro is how insanely strong it is. Um, on my ThinkPad, it's really hard to take that hard drive off. So I, and this, this charger thing, I first just put a big slab of Velcro on it, but when I tried to pull it back off, the glue that was holding it to the wall came off before the Velcro did, because Velcro is that powerful. So you need to use way less than you think you do. Um, which is, I guess, a good thing. This this is also a clever little device that it comes with. It's just more Velcro for holding it together. That's, that's smart. Alright, let's get a little strip. See, that will be enough. Oops. This will be enough. So here's my, my strap. You take the... Now, actually, I want to put the, the, the hard, knobbly bit onto the wall. And I want to put the soft bit onto the actual thing I'm sticking to the wall. So let's cut the soft bit off. OK, 
Okay. This is a very well designed roll of Velcro tape, you know. It's actually extremely well designed. Um, firstly, it comes with this little bit to, to stick it down so it doesn't unravel. That's smart. Secondly, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the, the sticky, the paper on the back that you pull off to reveal the sticky side hangs over so it's easy to get purchase on. It's actually very well designed. So let's, um, here's what we do. We stick uh, a bit of Velcro to the thing we would desire to have Velcroed. It doesn't have to be perfect. That was far from perfect, but whatever. Then stick this on to the Velcro. Then remove the sticky bit, and now we find the place we want it on our wall, and we stick it about here, seems good. And there you go, now you have the thing velcroed to your wall. Now this, this wire I guess I can just wrap around there or something, that'll do, and now Ah, fuck. See, the, prob the only problem with this is that the, the... Maybe I should... Maybe I fucked this up. That's that's better. See, I, I definitely fucked this up. I don't know why... Why did I do that? Why did I put it clearly in a position where it should be stuck like this? And then try and stick it like this? That was a mistake. But fortunately, Velcro is strong enough where it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, this is an important wire that I would like to remain connected so let's let's make sure this remains connected um, I wish there were a better way to deal with this but um, I don't have anything to help like like if I could just keep it wrapped up nicely like that that would be nice but I, I can't do that I don't know a way to do that maybe, maybe I could just like tie it in a knot that's actually not bad not bad Keep it like that, and there you go. It's not going to fall off anytime soon. Even if you have it like this, you know, I can do whatever I want with it. Have it like that, there you go. Hopefully that doesn't fall off and lose all of my, like, two terabytes of anime, visual novels, and archived Digi Bros Let's Plays. Uh, what else was I going to set, uh, Velcro? I got this thing to Velcro, but I'll do that after I've stopped recording, because I need that to hold my camera. Um, I would Velcro my laptop, but there's no reason to, because <laughs> it's just completely pointless. Um, oh yeah, I remember what I was going to Velcro. This, maybe I could even Velcro this, but nah, I'm not going to. But that would be a decent velcro ball thing. This is what I was going to Velcro, my Raspberry Pi. Uh, firstly, it would look very cool, particularly opened, you know, but that's not a very good idea because dust will get in there, so I'm going to keep it closed. But uh, this is a perfect example of a Velcroable thing. Um, stick it right on the wall, um, and then whenever I need it, it's, it's safe. Because, you know, normally I keep it somewhere vaguely in this area where it gets bashed around and um, to, do you know what I'm doing? I'm just cleaning my room. That's what I'm. What the, that's what you're. This is the the sequel to uh, How to Clean Your Room tutorial that I made, like years ago. But not funny, unlike that video, which is very funny, and you should you should watch it because it's one of my funnier videos. Uh, this one is just a dry, um, excitement about discovering the joys of velcroing objects to my wall. Uh, which I will soon have to remove, because I think I might end up getting this room repainted at some point. Um, my mum is going to be very confused when she wakes up and finds that I have gl I have stuck various objects to my wall. Uh, there we go. A couple bits of Velcro. Okay, let's see if you remember the sequence. So step one, remove from the soft bit what covers the sticky. Do I want this here? Or here? 
This is the play. This... This is the play? This is the play. Okay. Now, vertical is actually the, the move there because of the, the lever force. Yes. Physics, engineering, and other such sciences. Okay. Now, vertical is the play here. Boom. 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 As you can see, I now have various objects. Uh, now my plan might be something like this in the future if I really desire to. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Check this out. Boom. Wrong one. <laughs> uh, boom. Step one. And now, I've done this on the wrong side, but you know what? It's, I'll call it an aesthetic choice. Boom. The Raspberry Pi is now turned on, powered exclusively by this portable charger. I could then, theoretically, at least, run a cable from here to here. I mean, more than theoretically, with ease. Um, just need to get the cable, which is down here somewhere. Now, I need to sort out all of my cables as well. Like, that's not even the right one. That's the power, I believe. No, that is the HDMI cable. Okay. Let me simply plug this in here. We hope that the weight of the cable does not overstrain. Come on. Why am I doing this while it's attached to the wall? It's much easier to do it this way. There you go. See the joys of Velcro. And now, turn the monitor on. And, but a bat boom, but a bat boom, pow. Let's just sometimes turn it off and on again, maybe. There we go. But a bat boom, maybe, pow, maybe. Pow. That's a, that's, that's happening. And all of the computing necessary is on my wall. Uh, is that not cool? We're not even... Well, the monitor's plugged into mains. But in theory, my plan, my long-term plan, is to have some sort of hot swappable system here, instead of this basic cable. So this would have a cable going into mains over there, right? And then, maybe instead of this monitor, I have this monitor just sort of, just sort of here, right? Do you see what I'm getting at? And then I have a wall computer, but not this monitor, because maybe that monitor. Basically, it might end up being a touchscreen, which would be disappointing for the reasons that touchscreen sucks, but useful because it would be like a, you know, like Star Trek. <laughs> because, like, you, you don't want to have a, a fucking screen here and be sitting over here with a mouse and keyboard trying to fiddle with it. You don't want that. So touchscreen is the play, and then you could do, maybe, maybe have like a game controller play Umihara Kawase on my fucking wall. Like, maybe I could do that, you know? Or I could plug this baby in, I could plug this baby into the Raspberry Pi, have expanded storage, and all of those sorts of, sorts of joys in life. But for now, let's, let's, let's get rid of this, because we don't want this. Oh, we don't want to be wasting battery from my, my battery. But this does look pretty fucking cool, if I do say so myself. Now, more things. <laughs> Let's velcro some more things to my wall. Um, what, what else can I velcro? What else can I possibly velcro to my wall? My sunglass case. This is a perfect thing to velcro to a wall. Um, no, it's not actually. 
I don't think that is actually a perfect thing to velcro to a wall. This would be a good thing to like hang from some sort of nail. You know, wish I like if I could just hammer a nail in right there. That's what I need to do. I need to hammer a nail, like like somewhere over here, where I can hang the glasses case, and then I always know where my sunglasses are. And these are good sunglasses. Um, I don't have any nails, so that'll have to wait for for a future time. Um, okay. Now more things I need to do. So here's here's the here's a list of things I need to do in order to make this this room. That was my hairdryer falling off the desk for some unknown reason. In order to make this room operable, more operable, more operable. Um, here are some things I would like to do. Uh, firstly, this this shit. We need to fix. We need to figure what the. We need to figure out what the fuck is going on over here. <laughs> We need to figure out what the fuck is going on over here, and if it doesn't spark joy, we need to get the fuck, you need to get it the fuck out of here. Like, this thing, I have a, I have a BDSM collar, why? I don't even, I wore it once in the video for that one song I made, and never again. I guess I bought it for the video, I don't even remember. It's a good, it's good, it's too heavy to be comfortable to wear around your neck, but it does make a good wrist thing. What, bracelet, that's the word I'm looking for. It actually looks pretty sick as a bracelet, uh, as you will see now. You sort of wrap it around your arm. It's a bit tricky. Um, it's not easy. It ain't easy at all. But you can fucking okay. This may this may be. <laughs> How the fuck did I do this in the past? Because I've definitely worn this as a bracelet before. Ah, I figured it out. It's all about timing. Yeah, and then you just you burn that out. And that's a pretty fucking sick spiky bracelet with a little dangly thing. Am I wrong? Or am I am I right? The answer is I'm right. Look at that. Look how swagged out that is. That's extremely swagged out. So I'm keeping that, even though it's not the most comfortable bracelet in the world. It do be looking kind of dope. Um, There's just all type of shit over here. Like, it's too much. So that's one thing I need to sort out. I want to... So I have a fuck ton of cards in here, right? Like, like for example, my original Red Fontaines. Uh, one... One of 250... Uh, one of... 2,500. Uh, now I'm only showing you this side of the box, because this side of the box is not in the best shape. Um, but, but yeah, my original... Contains. I have two of these. It is what it is. I have a bunch of cards in here. Um, now, none of these cards I will ever actually really use. So I want to clean that space out of cards and then turn it into and clean out of everything else and turn it into ordered cables because I have a lot of cables and none of them are ordered. So ordered cables, that would be great. And in doing so. Hopefully, I, I don't know how much you can see of this, do you know what? We don't need this plugged into there because we're just going to put that in the cable drawer, which I'll hopefully do today. But I can use this as a torch, right? It's not the most strong torch in the world, but you can see there's just a fuckload of cables back here, right? Uh, like loads of cables and a hammer and some, some other shit. And none of that stuff should be there. And so I'm going to clean that all out and put it in the cable drawer and clean all of this off and God knows what I'll do with it. <laughs> the cards, I guess, can like, go in the attic or something because these are all really old, like they're not really usable and even if they were, I don't really want to use them too much to sustain them, like like, like my Absolute deck, for example. Uh, it's not, it's seen better days. I have one unopened deck in here. If anyone wants to buy unopened 
blue fontaines for me. Uh, hit me up in the in the, the comments because I'm very willing to sell. Uh, I also have this, which I believe is like a tuning device, but I already have a guitar. Like, don't need any of that shit. So get rid of all of this. Organize my clothes. Here's my. Uh, I've got plans. We've we've officially got plans today. But I, it is currently 4 a.m. So I'm going to wait a little bit before I start really cleaning. Because uh, it's going to make a lot of noise and stuff. But these are all good ideas. And then Velcroing things to your wall is a generally good idea. Like, just generally speaking. I should use this to tie up some cables. Uh, I was going to do this. <laughs> I just had an urge to do this for some reason. Like... I have no idea, but uh, that's a good idea. I also have like these, like for example, I'm always looking for these, and they whenever I look for them, they're in a different place. I I just need like somewhere to fucking keep my my tweezers, because I use them when I'm like unscrewing things, right, to pick up screws, and uh, or to to do any delicate sort of work. And they're always in different places. And one day I'm going to lose this pen, which is my favourite pen, and I'm going to be really mad. So that's what's motivating me to clean the fuck up. Uh, now, it's another idea that I've had is to turn this desk into a sort of a work zone. Although this desk kind of sucks. Um, like, if I, if I just move this over there... Firstly, this is the only chair I own, and it's a stool that's not very good. But even with it, um, I'm it, I'm too big to fit under the desk. The desk is too low. My knees my knees hit it, so it's kind of a rubbish, terrible fucking desk. Um, it's also tiny, and literally made for literally. I can't stress that how enough literally this is made for a Victorian child. Um, which I am very much not the same proportions of. Uh, so, you know, we've got to do something about that. Uh, I have a bunch of just shit lying around, like this drawing tablet that I never use. Oh, do you know what I do have? Is, um... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. See, this is why this desk is inoperable. Look, do you know what I do have? I don't want to leak my address or anything. Have I, have I just leaked it? I hope not. Uh is a fucking dead form CDs. So go buy those on Jested, Jested Ink. Go buy dead form CDs. Or just, you know, ask me and I'll send them to you. I also have one cassette, but no cassette player. So I have a dead form cassette as well. When I eventually never do live shows, I guess I'll sell these. I just have so much shit. A lot of it's like old computer stuff, like like oh look, a battery from a like twenty thirteen Apple Macintosh. Uh this is useless. <laughs> um it's the same Mac where this comes from and where this comes from. And where this one of these comes from. Uh I think it's that one. That one that that and that, these are all the same computer. Uh, and the reason I've kept this monitor is that I do believe truly in my heart of hearts that one day I will buy the correct controller board, driver board for this monitor and have a monitor. But that day is not today. I also have something quite fancy. This is just completely a flex. But uh, this here is a, is a Dickies belt, which apparently are, um, are quite in demand right now. So, uh, wait, this isn't a Dickies belt. Where's my Dickies belt? I have a Dickies belt. Somewhere. One of the, somewhere is a Dickies belt. This is not Dickies. This is, this is Diesel. Um, as in the ones that make jeans. But somewhere in my room I have a Dickies belt. 
this is quite a nice belt as well, so, you know, it's not, not my favourite belt that I own, that would be my roller coaster belt, which is currently attached somewhere, to some trousers somewhere, oh, this is the Dickies belt, you hear, <laughs> uh, There is, there is no logo branding or anything else on this. This might this is not a Dickies belt. Maybe I hallucinated that. That's disturbingly plausible. Uh, I think I hallucinated that. I don't think I actually have a Dickies belt. I, I think that might have been a dream. <laughs> I think that might have genuinely been a dream. Uh, well, that's disappointing. I miss my Dickies belt. Bring it back. This is what they took from us. Um, but yeah, I guess this is a video about cleaning my room and complaining about the lack of dream related supplies. Here, okay, so here's my plans. I'm gonna do some other work today first and some play as well, work and play. Um, but my plans are, I know somewhere I have a second ThinkPad charger and I want to attach it to that wall. Come on, come on. To, to this empty, empty one in here. That's going to be a ThinkPad charger if all goes well. Um, because... Reasons. They will become clear. Basically, my ThinkPad charger is currently over there. And um, it's annoying because sometimes when I'm typing Doing, doing typing stuff, I want to be sitting, you know, like a, at, at my, my quote-unquote desk, uh, you know, in a roughly, a position not dissimilar from this, with my, with my computer up here, at eye level, uh, typing away on my nice mechanical keyboard. Not to say that the ThinkPad keyboard is, is not the best laptop keyboard, but even the best laptop keyboard is nothing when compared to the Vortex Core 40%. Uh, now, ideally, I want to get my room, if my room is going to be painted, I want it to be painted in this color scheme. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that. That would be quite nice, though. Uh, this, these are um, poultry carving scissors, by the way. If you're wondering why they look like some fucking Edwardian something. Maybe not Edwardian. I don't know why I said that, really. If you're wondering why they look like something out of Bloodborne, <laughs> it's because they're poultry carving scissors. Uh, Look at how nice that is, right? Oh, it has all sorts of light up effects, which I hate, but could never fucking figure out how to turn off. No. Nope. There we go. Is it still working? Yeah, there we go. No more fucking annoying effects. Okay. And then with the added addition, if I, like, and now you can hear the ultimate trick, which is this. Yes, that's right. I have, um, fucking typewriter sounds because it makes me write better for some reason. I don't know why, but it does make me write better. Like, observably, instantly so. Uh, my writing improves when pressing the enter button makes a ding sound. It's very strange. Um, do I have anything else I can feasibly velcro to anywhere in my bedroom? This would actually be a good velcro jobby. This, this is actually maybe the perfect thing to Velcro, because this always falls off of the table 
and I even broke one previously because it fell off of the table. This would be a perfect thing to velcro to my wall. I am somewhat worried because this is heavier than anything I've previously velcroed. It should be fine knowing in my heart of hearts the strength and power of velcro as a, as a material, but I'm worried that I'm going to velcro it to my wall and it's going to fall off in the middle of the night and break, uh, which would be a bit of a shame. Um, that being said, it might be a good idea, and it might even look very cool. I think it will look very cool. You know, this my velcroing things to your wall is maybe the most fun a human being can have. Okay, I, I have a real engineering problem on my hands here. So I did have this stuck here, right? But there's a which which is per the perfect place for it, or maybe like there somewhere, right? Somewhere around here. Problem is the form factor of this microphone. Now you can take the shield off, but the shield is there to protect the the sensitive microphone bits. And I am a notorious klutz and will and have, as you can see from how dented this thing is, dropped it before. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to, I don't trust myself, basically. The shield is important. I want the shield so I don't break this thing because it's a hundred quid, right? Uh, and the problem, obviously, is you can't really get a good stick with the, sh with the shield there. Uh, because it doesn't touch the wall, doesn't flush, it isn't flush with the wall. So, the obvious solution here is to stick it somewhere here, right? Like like off the edge so that so that it does go flush. The problem with this is that there is very little surface area and a lot of torque, right? Uh, so there's not much surface area for the, the adhesive to actually work and there's a lot of torque. So I do not trust that. I think this will fail. I think that it will just peel off the, the wall, either the adhesive or the Velcro. I think the adhesive, it seems the adhesive is weaker than the actual Velcro. Um, so ideally, I would have some sort of like glued on thing here, which would just sort of jut out, which I could just put the microphone on, but I don't really have that. Uh, so I'm not sure what to do with this mic as of now. I, maybe I can just like keep it up here, but that's not the most, yeah, it's just going to roll off, I feel like. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's kind of annoying to, oh, I need my microphone, whoop. I guess it could work. But yeah, I just don't trust it. I feel like it's going to roll off and slam me in the head. So like here is just the ideal place for it. But yeah, I have that problem. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is cable management. Now, here's what I want you to imagine, right, is is this, this connector, this USB Type-C cable, which connects my DAC to the, uh, the laptop. Would, would basically hang off of the nail here. That would be perfect. I don't have any nails. I might have to try and look for some nails tomorrow. Uh, or, like, not even tomorrow, but just, like, later today, because it's, like, 5 a.m., and I need... You know, I can't be hammering at 5 a.m. I'm not the drillers next door. I have some conscience. But, uh, yeah, hammer some nails in, get some cable management done. But other than that, I'd say this is maybe the greatest success yet, because... Look, now I can, I can just pick up my bass and just play. And it will just work. And I don't have to worry about anything. It just, everything just is just there right for me. Um, did have a bit of a mishap earlier where this whole painting fell down and knocked a bunch of shit off the wall, but we're fine. We've also rearranged the Raspberry Pi to be sideways because the HDMI cable is really thick and heavy. And that was creating torque when it was... Um, stuck, you know, in the, in, the, in, the, in the this way direction, it was creating torque, as you can see, because it weighs it down, and so I've decided to put that at the bottom, where it will just have a downward force, which is easier to counteract. So, we've done that. I've also plugged it in to the mains over there, just as a test. I'm not sure what the future of that's going to be, but, you know, that'll be a thing, maybe, in the future. Uh, so far, I'd say this is going very well. Um, but this is the fun part. The boring part is going to be clearing out this drawer, putting all these clothes away, putting all these cables and gubbins in, in the bin or in the so organizing them in my drawer, wherever they deserve to go. That's going to be the boring part. Fortunately, I'm putting that off until a bit later when I can make more noise, because that's going to be quite noisy, putting stuff out from behind drawers and stuff. Um... So yeah, really the only thing I have to worry about right now is this microphone. I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, also, my bass is not, not 
ideal right now. Uh, so sort of put lean it, lean it against here. It works, but again, yeah, not ideal. Um, so yeah, I'm really not sure what's up here. That would be a good place to Velcro it, right? Up here. Because I, I can get purchase on this. I don't know if I really want to fuck with this painting and start sticking shit to it, though. Um, I mean, it's, I, can, I could if I wanted to, but I'm not sure I want to. Uh, kind of disturb, because this painting goes around the edge, right? It's kind of part of the appeal of the painting. And so I feel like if I had a big Velcro thing here, it kind of ruins it. Um, so I'm really not sure. The microphone is a problem. I can, it, again, I've tried it by taking the shield off and it works flawlessly, but the problem is I don't want to take the shield off. Um, so we're going to have to figure out some sort of solution to that. Uh, you know, if I was like Casey Neistat, I would just walk over here, drill a small block of wood, like nail the wood to the, nail the small block of wood to the wall and then put the Velcro onto the small block of wood and have my problem solved. But I cannot do that as I do not have the resources to do that. Um, you know, it's a bit of a problem. It's, uh, or screw it rather than nail it, sorry. But but yeah. Um, but yeah, some nails for, for cable management, just, to, just hanging sort of loops of cable up there would be great. And as for the rest of the stuff, I don't think I have really much else that needs Velcro in here. Um, again, I want to hang my glasses case from a nail over here. And, um, you know, that's about it. Glasses case from a nail over, or glasses bag from a nail over there. Cable management nails here and here. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe ideally some cable ties to for my Raspberry Pi cable. But, you know, that can be worried about in the future. Uh because this is a bit annoying. Maybe, like, do you know what would be great? Would be one of those wall-mounted um, guitar stand things for my bass that, that could just be here. And then I could just sort of hang the bass here, and that would... That's actually perfect, but I don't have one of those. Um, I guess I could go out and buy one today. Not sure where it sells those. Maybe Denmark Street. There's guitar shops on Denmark Street, I've heard. I've been there, I don't know why I said I've heard, I've been there many times, it's like the guitar shop street in London. Um, so I guess that's the play. This, this would, this is, this is all coming together. I, I would say this is, stop, don't. This is currently very aesthetically and practically pleasing. We've got my, my USB stick here. This is maybe the, the biggest innovation. Is this and, and this? These are these are large innovations. These are life changing innovations. And and this thing, you know, this is just the way where it's like if I have something I need to like where I don't need to use it that often, but when I do need to use it, I need to know exactly where it is. This is this is the place on the wall. So I'm trying to think of more things like that, but um, there aren't that many. I most of the other things that are over here are stuff. I guess this I don't use that often. Um, but this is not really velcroable, right? It's, it's it's all weird and shit. So, but I think this is going to end up in the drawer over there. Uh, um, so yeah, that's what we've got so far. I I guess uh, I guess I should start working on. Well, I'm not going to start working on clearing out that drawer because I need to um, have the attic open, and I'm going to break everyone up if I do that. So I'll I'll wait a little bit before I get get onto that shit. Um, did you know I have a lightsaber? I was gonna say if it's still turned on after all these years, that would be that would be amazing, but it doesn't. Probably could just put batteries in it, but fuck it, it's not even a very good lightsaber. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not sure how many of you are aware of this. I do actually have a proper camera, like a nice Canon. 600D. I mean, it's outdated by now, but uh, back in the day, this was a pretty good YouTuber camera. Um, and I have one, and it works. It's not, but I mean, uh, the first, literally the first thing I did when I got it was um, was break the autofocus <laughs> by um, not realizing the autofocus was on, twisting the focus ring, and breaking the motor that, that controls the autofocus. So, so the autofocus doesn't work, uh, which makes it, and it's also really heavy. You really just can't use it for vlogging, is the thing. And uh, because 
it's really heavy and uh, the autofocus doesn't work. So you have to, I'm just blurry half the time. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But I do have a proper camera. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of shit, man. Oh yeah, here's the updated wall, by the way. We've got uh, some new features. I like there you go. new features including cable management. Look at that! Look at that beaut! Look at this beauty of cable management. Uh, we got we fixed the microphone problem by just taking the the cap off and putting it over here. So we got a microphone now. Need to remember to remove the microphone from the bottom because if I remove it from the top, it peels off the velcro on the wall for some reason. But on the bottom it doesn't. It's weird. Uh, then. Bottle opener, it just sticks like that, that's pretty good, and uh, yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to end up doing the thing with my base in here, I was thinking of mounting it here, but I don't really see the point in that, um, so I'm not sure what else to put up here, but I'm sure as I clean things out, um, things will make themselves apparent that I use, or would like to have easy access to. Um, we do have one other problem, which I'm, this is kind of like the biggest problem I'm not so sure how to solve right now, which is, um, it's the problem with, that is, I still can't really see it, the problem is this, this like power strip thing here, right? So, there's only three plugs in it, one of them goes to the monitor, one of them goes to the Raspberry Pi, and one of them goes to the Mac, and then I have my ThinkPad plugged in over there. The problem is, if I want to have a setup where I can use my ThinkPad over here while plugged in, I have to lose one of my other things. Um, now, I don't use the Raspberry Pi all that often, so I. But, you know, I don't know, it feels wrong somehow <laughs> to not have it. Like, to have to go behind, unplug, and plug some things in just, just feels wrong somehow. Like,. I don't, I don't know, I'm going to need to figure out something, some way to deal with that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to manage that one, but, you know, I'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, for a while I was thinking maybe I move my music setup, so my Mac and stuff, over to that desk, but that kind of defeats the whole point of this, which I really like, this. The, having the audio, the, the DAC over there, and the mic over there. So moving my Mac over there kind of defeats the whole point of that, which is a bit of a shame. I don't really want to do that. Also, it's not very... Just being over there just kind of sucks. <laughs> it's just not the good place in my room. This is the, the good place to do work in my room. Um, uh, what else? Um, oh, yeah, I was thinking... Like, look how much space is in my room. It's just bed. Like, it's almost entire... My room is majority bed. And it's really annoying, but I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> I don't have a, another... Like, I could use a single bed. I don't roll over. I used to roll over a lot in my sleep, which is why I got a double bed. But I stopped doing that at some point, And I pretty much only ever use one side of this bed. So having a single bed would massively open up the space in this room. But not really an option, obviously, since I don't have one. Uh... So that's just kind of an unsolvable problem. I I don't know. I've thought about removing this closet or moving it or something. Moving this desk into that space and having a little workspace in there. Not sure if that's a good idea or not. I'm definitely not going to do it now. If it is, not that that's a big, that's a big fucking project. Um, but what I am going to do is this section down here, this like what is technically a fireplace, I'm going to clean it out, get rid of all of that, and that's where I'm going to keep my books, uh, and possibly some electronic items as well. Uh, but that's definitely going to be my book storage, because right now my books are stored on the floor under my bed over there, which is not a good place to store books. So uh, yeah, that's going to be my, my book storage. I don't have that many books anymore, most of them are um, in the attic because they're children's books, and I'm not children anymore. Most of the books I've read, or I own, are like young adult slash children's books. So, you know, those, those can go somewhere. But, um, but yeah, basically, I, there should be, by the end of this, 
nothing on this desk except for, like, um, a deck of cards and caffeine, um, uh, my fibre pills, which actually I don't even really need to keep my fibre pills there. In fact, I could keep them in the kitchen, might even be a good idea, I'm not sure. But maybe my fibre pills and some chewing gum and that's maybe a pen, my Mac, my ThinkPad, and that should be it. And maybe, maybe some, no, that should be it, I'm pretty sure. Maybe deodorant. And deodorant's better over there because I don't use it often. So there should be very, very few items on this desk once I'm done with that. Um, so that'll be good. And then this desk will, should be mostly clear. And then inside of those drawers should be all the wires. And then all of these clothes that are on the floor are going to be in here or in the cupboard. Uh, so yeah, I really hope I can get some, some, some nails because like this cable needs to sort of hang. Let me just uh, like, like that, basically. Like that, that's where this cable used to go, but so right now it just sort of hangs, it's kind of bad. Uh, and obviously I want a nail for my um, glasses case, although I could literally just Velcro this to the wall, but that would kind of, that might work. I could just, this could be another Velcroed contraption. Um, so maybe I'll do that. I do have this big gap which I'm, I'm sort of like, it's there for reasons. <laughs> it's there for weird reasons. Like, I just, I know that it's there for, for, for posterity, basically. Because I might, this, this keyboard might end up there. This, this keyboard might end up, like, here. Uh, but ideally, obviously, it would be like that. And I could have like a, a little standing desk set up with my Raspberry Pi, have a monitor, like, imagine that, like, just against the wall. I mean, you can't really type horizontally, I've tried it, it's not comfortable. So you, you got to kind of have it vertical, but I don't have a way to set that up right now. So I, I might just keep this as storage, like here, right, like, you know? But then in that case, maybe I should be storing the keyboard that I actually use, you know, like that and maybe that's where I store that I'm not sure right and then there's other possibilities too of what to put there so it's all very confusing um, I might even I have another power strip where it's, it's not actually much it's in the front room I don't use it but I might I'm, I'm not sure if it's the same length if it's longer I don't know maybe I could do something with it I don't know. I have a whole bunch of options. A lot of them I can't do because they'll make noise and I don't want to make noise because it's 7am. Actually, 7am is early enough to make noise. <laughs> a little bit. Open the window up a bit. Um, why am I holding my camera like, like I'm a fucking caveman? We have technology. Look, why wasn't I using this? Alright, let's, let's see. Nuclear war now, as soon as possible, please. Um, oh, this one's only got this one's only got two two plugs. That's not really usable. But it is much longer, much longer. Hmm. Not sure what to do with that information. Huh. It's much longer, but it only has two plugs. Is there anything that needs to be? plugged. I don't know. I think there might also be one back here. No, no, these ones just plugged directly into the wall. Hmm. We do, we do be having conundrums. We do be having conundrums. Hey, you can get a better view of how much of my room is just bed from, from back here. It's, it's ridiculous, really. 
don't need that much space to sleep in. It's like the one, sleeping is the one time when you're still, <laughs> you're not conscious and you don't need a lot of space. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm not sure what to put here. Like, a sideways monitor? That would be actually perfect. Right? Hook this up to my Raspberry Pi. That would mean I need to buy a driver board for this monitor. Assuming this monitor even works, which I, I, I'm, that's a big assumption, because I, I have no idea if this works or not. It probably doesn't. Um, in fact, there's, there's a pretty good chance this monitor doesn't work. I mean, it's not cracked or anything. Uh, there are a couple, like, weird-looking bubble things. I don't know what, maybe that's just a, some sort of smudge or something. Oh yeah, that's just a smudge. Okay, so there's not actually weird looking bubble things, but but yeah, you can. This is the sort of driver board on the back, and you need an extra sort of little little thing to clip into that, like a ribbon cable basically, that 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 can take, and then that is like has a little board on it which can convert it to USB, plug it into my Raspberry Pi, and just have it sort of here. Uh, which would be kind of fucking the coolest thing anyone's ever fucking done, right? That would be kind of the coolest thing anyone's ever done. But that's a bit of a pipe dream right now. Also a pipe dream right now is, you know, the raw wood aesthetic of this is very, uh, like 70s. It's not, it's not my look. I would like to paint them a dark colour, a dark grey, um, like, like that. Or like a, just something dark, you know? Don't have any dark paint or capacity to do that right now, but that would be nice. Paint them a better colour so they actually look good in the room. That would be nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. we got all sorts of plans. But today, practical plans is sorting this desk out, clearing... we gotta, we got to go through the room, dividing it into little chunks with, with some, some, like important pile and not important pile and trash pile and we go through we throw shit out we push it in the attic we I, the attic's not very big i call it an attic but it's really just like a little space above the ceiling it's technically an attic but it's not much of it it's like a tiny little thing um compartment really uh so that and then and then Clear out the drawers, but that stuff definitely goes somewhere in the bin or attic, somewhere just away from my room, because I never use any of it. Um, and then replace that with wi with wires and cables and electronics that I don't have anywhere else to put. Clear this space out, this space becomes books, and um, put all the clothes away in their proper receptacles, and clear underneath that desk, or the, the chest of drawers over there, clear underneath that. And uh, then we should have, uh, and obviously clear the space on top, and then we should have a clean room, and that should be pretty cool. Sorry, I'm getting kind of hype, getting kind of excited, but most of us it's going to be, you know, I might even time-lapse it. I can time-lapse, actually. I, I, I never use time-lapses to their full effect, but I, I do have the capacity to do that, so maybe I'll time-lapse some of that. But uh, not, not right now, because it's a bit uh, still early in the morning for me banging around, cleaning stuff out from under the desk and stuff, so we're going to wait... Unfortunately, I have to wait a little longer, maybe a couple more hours or an hour or so before I start really working on that, but that should be cool. Even though I could have sworn I pressed to record a time lapse, apparently I just recorded that normally. So I've got all the trash in the trash. I've got a big bag of cards. They'll go up in the attic later, along with other stuff. And now I have to decide how to organize these drawers. So there's three drawers, and I was thinking either I go digital audio video. That was one of the digital audio video, or I go USB. C, USB, other, and miscellaneous. Uh, I, th I think, because most of my cables are USB, either A, B, 
the micro or C. Um, I think, because I've just remembered I have a bunch of like plugs. So it's, um, sorry, I thought I heard a noise and I got distracted. Uh, it's tricky. Um, I'm thinking maybe we just go US, anything USB, anything that has a USB nurse, anything USB goes in this side. This is my idea for now, okay? Anything USB type A, B, C, micro, anything like that goes in that side. Anything video and audio goes in this side, and then stuff that's got plugs, which is going to be bigger, goes in the middle because that's the biggest one. I think that's what I'm going to do. So now I have to fucking clean up a bunch of my shit from the floor. So uh, this time hopefully I can successfully record a time lapse. <laughs> ThinkPad keyboard. I just have to record this in fast motion because I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to snap it in half because it's broken. Uh, you know, that's why I took it off the thing because it doesn't work. Um, so I'm now going to snap it in half. Wow, that doesn't. That, well, that was. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah! Fucking sick. Look, it's like a fucking, some sort of cool modern, modern art piece. That looks pretty cool, right? When do you see stuff like that, eh? When do you see stuff like that? Only on the No Thank You channel will you see stuff like that. Yeah, baby. That could genuinely pass for like a, a, a modern art piece, you know? You know what I mean? It's about the, it's a piece about really just the way the, uh, the technology has influenced our lives and um, uh, warped our perception in the same way that it's warped our perception of the world, it's warped our perception of itself. <laughs> See, yeah, I could bullshit about anything. It's one of my many talents. Um, I guess I'll throw this away then. Although it does look cool. Maybe I should auction it. If anyone wants to buy this, comment below and I'll, I'll sell it for some, I'll sell it as an NFT or whatever the fuck people do these days. See, look what I just found. I completely forgot. While you guys are stupidly investing in volatile, ridiculous cryptocurrencies, I'm investing in real fucking silver. This is a real silver coin. And as you can see, it's vanished. 
just like all of the money you put into crypto, which you've now lost, you stupid idiot. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty cool, right? It's actual silver. I actually got given this as a birthday present. I'm I'm not listen, I'm not good at coin magic, okay? I never claim to be good at coin magic. I'm I'm not not a coin magician. Not my, my area of expertise. How how do you do this one again? Something like that. This is it's actually really obviously I never practiced with the coin this heavy. I think I think you do it like this. Right, and then you go like, Ooh. something like that. I read this in an actual magic book, you know, although I'm clearly not very good at it. Something like that. But, I mean, you're supposed to do like a, a big motion covers the small motion type of, type of deal. You know, maybe something like that or like a, maybe, I think that's way too obvious. But uh, this is a nice silver coin that is now going to stay protected in this weird fucking hippie ass casing forever. And that will be worth uh, maybe more than face value one day. Because that is legal tender. Not really. But it is actual minted tender by the Mint, the, the, the Bank of England. Oh god, I have a long way ahead of me. This is this is this is what I'm fucking this is what I'm worried about. I hadn't realized how out of control this clothes pile had gotten until I see it juxtaposed with the relative cleanliness of the rest of the room. This is this is not I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> desk it's much cleaner of course the centipede the centerpiece being um overlord for the nintendo ds with the, the cartridge still still inside and intact if anyone wants a uh, overlord for the nintendo ds uh, go ahead and hit me up <laughs> what does this say on it says um actually has words written on it in, in some sort of weird pen big Love. Maybe Big Slapper, I think is what it says. Big Slapper. All right. Well, I I really don't actually want Overlord for Nintendo DS. But here's here's my desk, um, and my phone is now running low on charge, so I need to plug you in. Uh, I tried my best to show less of my ass on camera that time. Hopefully, I succeeded, because looking back at that first time lapse. Oh boy, no one wants to see that. Um, yeah, I gotta throw all that trash out. Did I, did I show you the, the little alcove is cleaned out and now it has books stacked in there and stuff? I didn't show you that. Okay, but if this I've done the easy stuff so far. This has all been easy stuff. Now I have the hardest, the hardest parts. The hardest parts are somehow Cleaning underneath and behind. Okay, well, cleaning the top of this, this, what is behind you right now. That's easy. Cleaning underneath and behind it, I guess I'm. I think I accidentally set the alarm on this thing. Oh, I found this. This is my Casio F91W because I'm a, I'm a G user. I'm not really a G user. The strap's broken, so that's why I don't wear it. Um, but I thought, oh yeah, I did accidentally set the alarm. I don't, I don't want the alarm on. Go away, alarm. Okay. Um, I, I don't use it, but I thought, I can't throw it away because it looks it's such a cool bit of kit, but also because my theory, my th thinking was, if there's like a power outage or something, and I want to know what time it is, then this is going to be very useful because all the other clocks in the house are, uh, 
you know, not their attached to names. So now we get to know if there's a power outage and I need to know what time it is, was my thinking. Um, also, I've attached my spare ThinkPad battery to the wall. Um, and that's about it. Over there I have basically my, my camera, my drawing pad, my silver two pound coin, uh, some SD cards, my wallet and keys which stay there always on that side of the table, and some stationery. So yeah, nothing that special, but <laughs> this is a very mundane video, you know. It's just me cleaning out my house. I tried to cut my hair. I think I mentioned that. I look like a failed member of the Beatles. I need to... You know? I need to do that. Doesn't help at all. Oh, this made it worse. Oh, God. Um, I have these glasses. These are all my mum's sunglasses. <laughs> I have my own pair of sunglasses. They're over there. Um, these are my mum's. She doesn't wear them anymore. I guess I'll give them back to her when, when she wakes up. Um... I kind of feel like taking a break, but I feel like if I, I also kind of feel like if I take a break, I'll never start again. So, it might just be time to uh, pull out the big guns, as it were. And get, get some stuff moving, get some stuff moving, you know. Um, what time is it? According to this, it's 11.02. I don't know if that's accurate. Nope, that is definitely not accurate, it's an hour fast, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's probably set to British summertime time, whereas it's no longer summertime. Um, who knew a roll of Velcro would change my life so drastically? It doesn't look that different, really. Uh, not the part you're seeing, at least. I mean, I guess it looks different. Once I clean those clothes up off the ground, then it will really look different. Um, but yeah, really not looking forward to cleaning out all of the shit under my cupboard, under my chest of drawers, rather. That's going to be annoying. I'm a, I'm a tall guy, bending down, all, it's, it's very annoying having to sort of crawl on the floor and scoop stuff out. It's not fun for anyone involved. But hopefully, with my new organisational system... See, this is the plan, right? Let me, let me talk you through the plan. The plan is... That I'm, I have a new organized. So, okay. The reason that I never fucking clean my room and shit's everywhere, right? The reason I have such a shit covered room is because there are things that I use that I use not daily but fairly regularly that I, I want to know where they are. And I, I want them to be out in the open where I can see them, where I can grab them quickly and not have to go through a bunch of drawers to find them, right? And. The only way to do that is to have them on the desk right next to you. But the problem is, things sort of pile up on the desk. And eventually, you get the situation I'm in now. But, having stuff just velcro to the wall solves my problem. Where if there is stuff that I don't need all the time, but when I need it, I need to know it where it is quickly. Uh, I don't want to have to go through 50 drawers. Uh, th this solves my problem. And that s solves the problem of having to have a desk covered in shit in the first place, which means it's a good time to clean out my desk that is covered in shit. Um, now, one problem I ran across, those drawers, tiny. I don't have, I have one hairband, which I used for my extremely long piezo contact mic cable, uh, but nothing else. So those cables are going to get tangled as fuck and unusable, which is really annoying, but there's literally nothing I can do about it that I know of. Unless there's, maybe there's some clever way of tying a cable in a knot so it never gets tangled. But if there is, I'm not aware of it. Uh, nor do I really want to go through and do that, really. Um, but yeah, there's really not, there, there's not much, that much space in those drawers. So um, it was definitely a good play to put the, the power brick ones and plug socket ones in the biggest section. Because I almost ran out of space, but I didn't. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm just stalling the time now because I kind of don't want to do this. <laughs> I feel like taking a break would be like the logical thing to do. But also, again, I feel like if I take a break, I'm never going to start again. So I need to just have really small, just small increments. I just need to be like, all I need to do, this is, this is one of my problems, psychological patterns I get into. is like, 
I just tend to think about the whole big picture temporally when I'm doing tasks and then that kind of gets overwhelming. I need to get better at like breaking tasks down into their individual components, which I actually made a todo.txt uh, earlier today, so let's see how much of that I've done. Uh, so, room rice. Clean out desk drawer and desk top. Done. Take cables from under desk and relocate to desk drawer. Done. Uh, hopefully I find a second ThinkPad charger for up upright configuration. Done. It's in that drawer. Uh, basket shoe alcove thing into book storage. Done. Possibly purchase some nails for wall-based cable management. Nope. Figure out a final solution to the microphone problem. We've done that. We've got the microphone hang hung up on there. If motivated, head to guitar shop. I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, well, I didn't actually write to clean out underneath my, my chest of drawers, so, uh, I, you know, that's a, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, that's a f f f vim. You, you know, trying to use vim and then realizing, oh, my caps lock's on, it's it's hell in real life. Um, uh, so what are we doing? Uh, clean top of drawer. Um, uh, put away clothes pile and then clean under drawer and then that's basically it as far as I'm aware uh, that's all I have left to do clean the top of the drawer put away the clothes pile and clean underneath the drawer um, yeah I don't think there's anything else that needs doing right that should be it and hopefully if I find more stuff that needs velcroing, I can velcro it, and that will be all good. Uh, yeah. I guess there's nothing else. My, my ThinkPad keyboard is, is actually falling apart, by the way. The U key is just constantly coming off. The J key is like worn out and doesn't work half the time because I'm pressing J all the time to scroll down websites on the cute browser. So I'm trying to get, instead of buying a new keyboard, which I could do due to the magic of ThinkPads, they are very easy to find replacements and to replace yourself, but this one feels so much better to use. So I guess I'm just really kind of just using this, <laughs> which I might end up growing to the wall, just like all of my possessions, apparently. Uh, but, but yeah, or it might just stay out all the time, not sure. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to use my mechanical keyboard that I spent too much money on, you know, I feel like I should actually get my money's worth out of that. God, I'm really st You can, can you tell that I'm stalling because I don't want to do this? Okay, we're going to just do it. Motivation. <laughs> Motivation. Oof, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Motivation. Okay, fuck it. We're doing it. I am still going to be doing it, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going in a different order. I've decided to tackle the clothes pile first and then use the top of the table as a little break. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the clothes pile to the other room where there's lots of space. I'm going to try and take all the clothes out to the other room. And I'm going to make neat folded piles of each different item of clothing and then bring them back individually and put them in their appropriate drawers. Um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of how to take my phone in there since it's low on charge. But... Thankfully, portable charger, number one, and then I need a wire to connect it. Uh, this is the annoying part because these are not that well organized, but that should do the trick. Uh, let's use the C-Light. Okay, please work. I don't know if this cable actually works. I haven't checked every single cable. Uh, okay. And... It's not charging. Okay, this cable doesn't work. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I'll find one.
taken it out of me that I've basically cleaned up all the clothes. I have two two jumpers. I don't I don't know what to do with. <laughs> I don't know what to, the red one and the blue version of the same hoodie that I I I kind of have nowhere to put. And I'm just going to fold them up and put them in the bottom of my closet. That uh most of that was off camera because it was in the front room where my mom is and well, she doesn't really want to be on camera. Fair, fair enough, to be honest. Especially when you've just woken up. Uh, so, you know, that's fine by me. So I, I folded all of those clothes off camera and then just brought them in, <laughs> in the time lapse. But uh, yeah, this is not the best fold. I know, I'm aware that this is, that I, firstly, aware that I folded both of them differently. And secondly, aware that neither of them were folded particularly well. I can do good folding. But I forgot how to do it. And I forgot to care. You have to remember to care. That's the thing they don't tell you about about doing any work. Is that you have to remember to give a shit. And if you don't remember to give a shit, you, you, you end up with this. But I will now show you around my room, which is already looking. Well, I say already as if... I say already as if as if I haven't spent all day literally doing this and pretty much... No, that's not true. I spent a while watching YouTube videos. But the clothes pile is gone. Um, they are all in their appropriate drawers. There is some trash, which I'll clean up at the end. I'll do a final sort of trash sweep at, at the end. But uh, we, the, the room is feels colder now. I don't, I don't know why. But um, there we go. We got we got all sorts of stuff <laughs> just on the wall, which looks a, a bit sillier in daylight than it did at night. But it still looks cool. I would still classify this as looking kind of cool. It looks a bit a bit more ghetto, a bit more punk than it did at night time. It looked like a super clean Reddit battle station setup. But in, in the daytime, it looks like a, 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 a punk DIY um, bodge, which is much more my aesthetic anyway, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, uh, so next, we've just we've got to do this. This should take two minutes. And then the dreaded, I'm going to have to, I've, I've been thinking this whole time about how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to pull my bed out this way, like, it's like Tetris or something. And I have to pull my bed this way. Yeah, I know, one second. I'm going to have to pull my bed out this way. And then I'm going to have to push the cupboard this way. And that way I can get to all the shit underneath the cupboard. It's not a cupboard, it's a, it's a chest of drawers. But, so, bed this way. Chest of drawers that way, somehow without knocking it over. And somehow finding a place to put the lamp, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I'll figure it out when I get to it, I guess. Um, and then, I think I'm going to be using the lot. That's all going to be trash, mostly. And, uh, and uh, I didn't do the best job with my hair. And I've got to have a shower at some point. So I still haven't done. But then that's it. And then I'm done. And then I'll have a brand new, sparkly, clean room which looks almost identical to the old room because most of the stuff was in places I don't occupy. Like, you're not going to put the stuff in the place you are because the most of my room is just a bed. So the vast majority of my room is just going to look exactly the same because it's going to be a bed. So if you're expecting some dramatic before and after pictures, you're, you're sorely mistaken. You're going to see a small difference in... I mean, this is a pretty big difference. This is, this is a much more minimal setup, although I still think I can get rid of some of this. Like, this phone, don't need it. Don't need that phone. This could feasibly go on the wall. This is my, my backup for my Mac. Um, this could feasibly, maybe should feasibly go on the wall. This also will hopefully end up on the wall, or at least hanging somewhere. Uh, somehow, or may maybe I'll even find some way to velcro it. 
uh, ideally this this will end up in a drawer somewhere these 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 things will get filled up because a lot of them are under the chest of drawers all of this will be cleaned up probably get rid of the yoga mat because I've used it once ever um, might end up putting that broken guitar up there because it's uh, if you're, if you're not aware of this guitar, it's a guitar I took all the frets out of so I could play microtonal music. Um. There you go, that's the microtones. And then. Is that, is that cool? Is this, is this a cool effect? Wait, hold on. I can make it cooler. <laughs> yeah. Real content. Thank you very much. I'm a professional musician. If you didn't know, it's music. That's my job. All right, I'm gonna see what. what the fuck. After many said it could not be done, and I didn't record a whole bunch of it, and I just realized there's this plug on the ground, but that's fine, I know where this goes. This goes in the middle of the drawer. Anyway, after many said it couldn't be done, the room is fucking clean. It's, it's incredible, really. Even to the dismay of some, I'm sure, the world as a fuck is gone. Shock. I know. It's a, it's a, it's a whole new fucking environment. 
but you'll get used to it. I, I, I have faith in you. So, let me walk you through, let me give you a walking tour of the new room, which is just the old room, but as it probably should have been the whole time. So, starting with this desk, on, on top of it are items that I do need occasionally, but not just not that often. I think my mum might have thrown away some of my screwdrivers, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. I, these screwdrivers suck. I need new ones, actually, really. Um, so I'll put that in the back of my mind. Whew, God, I'm tired because I've just spent all fucking day doing this. Um, wallet, keys, Bluetooth speaker, uh, Mac backups, because I, I rarely actually use, you know, it's not like I need the backups all the time. Um, drawing tablet, drawing tablet, uh, guitar st strings, my good camera that I never use, replacement keys for my Mac, again, not really that useful, but I might need them someday, uh, pens, stationary, stuff like that, um, and my game controller. Then in these drawers, we have USB, type A, B, and C, on this one, this one is plugs and some miscellaneous hardware, and this one is audio visual. Uh, all my cables are organized in there. Uh, okay, moving on. Guitar, cupboard. This cupboard has is, is now got my dressing gown, my jacket, my jumper, and a whole bunch of stuff inside. This was basically completely unused before, but now it's all full. No clothes or mess on the ground at all. Guitar over there, guitar up there, bass over here, and you will see from the... Oh, fuck. I knew I'd forgotten to throw something out. This thing. This is like the top of a printer. But fuck it, I'm just gonna put it in there. There's other stuff in here, by the way. Like, for example, a flask is, is hidden away up in that secret little bit, but, you know. There's other stuff in there, but you don't need to know about it. Okay, so next, uh, I guess we talk about this. This stuff's purely decorative. This stuff is functional-ish. Maybe not with keyboard, but I don't have anywhere else to put it. So we have watch, in case the power goes out and I need to know the time for some reason. One hour behind. Uh, external drive, USB with room for expansion. Hopefully I'm gonna have a whole row of USB sticks. I just only own one. Actually, I tested them to see which ones worked, and literally, the, uh, this is the only one that works. I think it has like Void Linux on it right now, which I never even ended up installing, but... Uh, <laughs> it's a one USB drive that doesn't actually work, uh, or that does work, but it doesn't have anything useful on it. And hopefully, expand its room for more. Bottle opener, this is my favourite one of the Velcro mechanisms. Uh, oh fuck. See, the problem here is that the adhesive that sticks the velcro to the wall is not as strong as the velcro itself so I need to find, I don't, I don't know what to fucking do about that um, keyboard you know it's a, it's a keyboard it's a, it's a, fills the gap in between really, doesn't, doesn't do much but it is part of an integrated system of an integrated modular system which I've sort of set up here so we have music stuff down here right this is my audio interface, this is my microphone, the head for my microphone just sits up there, and that is all within reach of my Mac, and we have this sort of little cable storage thing here where you can just sort of hook and unhook it at will in order to put, wrap the cables up there, it's all nice. Okay, but, but here's the, um, it's not really that interesting, I don't know, but here, here's this, okay, so the two most common cables I need are USB to uh, micro USB and USB to USB type C, both of which are stuck here. Um, we have portable charger over here, and obviously Raspberry Pi with the cable management to plug to turn it on, and this all goes into there. It's not plugged in at the moment, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, HDMI goes down to this thing. Um, then we have obviously the audio connector is hooked up to my mic and to my bass over there. <laughs> down here we have books. Um, 
We have a thousand plateaus on top because that's the one I'm currently reading. And so it's on top. We have one random PS2 game, Final Fantasy 12. Uh, anyone wants Final Fantasy 12 on PS2? Well, I don't know, you can't have it. <laughs> um, might bring my PS2 in here if I can hook it up to this, which I don't know if I can. Uh, old ThinkPad, old Mac, and some more books, it's all bullshit, fan, also for the summer. Moving on. Okay, now you may have noticed the ThinkPad is now over here, instead of over there. We'll talk about that. Uh, but firstly, nothing's really changed with the rest of this, just cleaned up. Lamp, glasses I never actually use, so they should probably be over here. Um, lamp. Stuff, things, fucking stuff, and nothing important, really. Uh, deodorant. Tweezers, which should also not be here. <laughs> they should be over here. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, okay, now let's talk about the modular integrated system. So, we have uh, a, a small problem, which is that... Uh, there is no way you can comfortably have a cable that allows you to be in this position for the ThinkPad and also in this position for the ThinkPad. And so what we have is very simply two chargers, one over here for bed, bed style, and then we have one over here, which you can see back here, plugs into here, but the packs on there for, for desk style. Um, including a mouse plugged in and everything. Um, so yeah, basically if you want to move, you just unplug and, and move over to this one, which I should really Velcro onto that wall, which I might do. But there's a problem. This power strip only supports three plugs. Um, now the fortunate thing is there's very rarely a time when I need three computers plugged in at once. But if I do, it's kind of tricky. Um, but it's still doable, but with a bit of a hack, but I'll show you. So, basically, the problem is, right, that that because I have a Raspberry Pi that needs to be plugged in, and a, and a ThinkPad that needs to be plugged in, what I've done is, as you can see, the Raspberry Pi cable just sort of hangs here most of the time. Uh, and then when I need to plug in the Raspberry Pi, I unplug the ThinkPad cable, which will then just hang down there, and plug in the Raspberry Pi cable, and it all works perfectly fine. Boom, it's kind of swappable, easily swappable. Right? And it's rare that I'll need to use the ThinkPad in this particular place at the same time as a Raspberry Pi, right? Because I could just have the ThinkPad over here plugged in and it would all be fine. But even if I do, I can always unplug my Mac and plug the ThinkPad in there because we basically have these two slots just accessible. And at absolute worst case scenario, if I need to have my ThinkPad, Mac and Raspberry Pi all plugged in all over here. It is still possible, but I have to unplug this and then simply use this into my uh, fucking. Where is it? Oh, I could just take it off the wall. I always <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Uh, makes it a little easier. Yeah, I can just plug it straight into here into the external charge pack, battery pack thing and power the whole setup like that without having to have mains power then I can have my ThinkPad plugged in and Mac plugged in and anything else I need plugged in plugged in with enough space but I will eventually run out of charge on this but that is what it is, it's not really a big deal and uh, the, the Mac charger will reach directly over to the external battery pack for when it needs charging. So this will just reach straight over there and it works perfectly fine. I've put thought into this. I know, it's crazy. I didn't think I could do it either, but apparently I can put thought into things. Um, it's, a, it's a whole fucking thing. And then obviously, you know, the Raspberry Pi doesn't actually have a, a keyboard and mouse or anything else to actually be usable. So this is kind of a temporary setup until I get a a uh, more permanent solution to to, um, uh, to input um, 
this also just fell out. But, you know, it's all part of the game, man. It's all part of the game. Okay, I'll just call that done. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. There you have it. There's the setup. Um, cause this, this isn't even plugged in. See, that's, that's one problem, is it's hard to tell when things, what's plugged in where, but, yeah, whatever. It's not actually a problem, it's completely, it takes two seconds of looking. Um, but there you go. Clean room, organised, all on the wall. More things to come on the wall, by the way. Definitely, there will be more things on this wall. <laughs> um, and better things, because... It took me a while to figure out that the adhesive was strong, was weaker than the actual Velcro. So you have to use way less Velcro than you think because Velcro is actually ridiculously strong. They don't tell you that, but it's actually ridiculously strong. And so uh, if you use a lot of, of it, it will come off the wall before it actually releases. Um, and so you really just use small strips. As you can see, this battery I used way too much, and so it's fucked. So I actually need to redo this. But... um. Yeah, I also had a hammer briefly hanging on the wall. The hammer was 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 a mistake because I realised if it comes off, it's just gonna slam me in the foot or something. It's not a good idea to have it hanging on the wall, so didn't didn't end up doing that. But everything else good, fine, perfect. Room, fucking look. There's floor here. Who who knew? Who knew that that my room had a floor? There you go. I think this is about as good of a fucking success as you can have, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's about as successful as this could have possibly been. And um, I need to reward myself with noodles. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, one day, you and everyone you love will die. Subscribe.